Yeah, DJ. Hey. Hello, who to get? I think somebody said pick it up. Looks like oh, uh, DJ. His letters from JD or DJ one. He had it. Now he don't. Oh my goodness, y'all better get your winter coats back on. I know it's Memorial Day weekend, but if you're here with us in East Tennessee, I think we're entering Britches winter. Mm -hmm. A little bit chilly outside now, isn't it? <laughs> so hey guys, welcome to Appalachia's Homestead. Yes, we're, we, we got our coats back on, honey. <laughs> Remember those little winters I told you about? I've made a whole video several years ago about it. I posted off and on during this time of year because everybody's always going, what winter is this? What are we doing? Uh, we, we've cooled off quite a bit. I'm hoping we get some rain, but I'm not sure that's going to happen today. It may push into the middle of the week, but nonetheless, I think that we are in britches winter right now. I think it makes the most sense. Um, somebody might argue and say it's whippoorwill, but uh, I'm going to go with britches. But you're in a winter, that's for sure. So yesterday, we were so uh, blessed to be able to go and head over to Robbinsville. And we went to Fading Voices, which is an annual Cherokee Demonstration Day in Snowbird. And it was wonderful. We saw Miss Lou and family and friends. We had a great time. I'll put some clips in. It may be, it may be prior to me talking to you right here. So that's what that is. And uh, we just had a great, great time. So if you ever get the opportunity to go, you should. It's free, free parking. There's no entry fee. There's nothing. If you just get you a really nice piece of fried bread or buy a t-shirt or whatever and uh, support the demonstrators there of course uh or the vendors or whatever but it was wonderful so we're back over in, in tennessee and uh, it's a great day and i want to talk to you about something because i didn't have the opportunity to make another video um yesterday for obvious purposes and um some folks are asking me some questions and I, or there were some comments that came through from the video that i made about target right and so I'm sort of bouncing between a couple of different types of comments. So since it's a slower day here on the farm and uh, we're resting up a little bit and trying to stay warm and preparing for a busy week, this is a good time to talk about this. So somebody, I had, you know, I've had a couple people make a, the, a specific comment about what they're seeing and what's going on, uh, which I'm like, yes, I agree, you get it. Then I've had a couple of comments, just one or two, that was like, well, if you people stop shopping at all these places, you're gonna be you're gonna be shutting, you know, all these industries down. You're gonna be shutting Target down. You're gonna be Um I have tried in recent weeks, I think a lot of you get it, but obviously there's newer faces or folks that bounce in or just some people that don't get it. Um yes, we are very well aware that if, you know, if we stop buying a certain product, it may or may not. I don't choose to stop shopping somewhere or buying a product because I necessarily want to. I do it because I'm convicted to stick with what I feel is morally right for me. If you choose to not go get a Chick-fil-A sandwich at Chick-fil-A because you don't, you don't agree with whatever they believe in or Hobby Lobby, um, I'm not sweating it. So why are you sweating if I don't go shop at Target or if any of these folks, these great followers of mine and that are friends and family, why, why do you care so much? You know why? It's because we are the majority. Okay. But the majority needs to realize me, you, if you consider yourself into this fate, into this, this uh, group of individuals here in the United States that uh, we're somewhere in the mushy middle, maybe a little bit to the right. We have some core conservative old fashioned values. That's what makes our country so unique and so wonderful. Um, but you know, we, I think most people that I, that, that I identify with, <laughs> 
Um, we're kind of to the whole point of live and let live, but I, you know, I'll just go do my thing and you go do yours. The problem is, is that a lot of people are all of a sudden within recent weeks are saying, why is this? That's like, this is everywhere. Yeah. That's by design. It is everywhere. These massive corporations um, are not necessarily being ran by their original founders anymore, the original people. Um, a lot of these great companies, we can name a whole lot. I mean, think about the things that you kind of identify with growing up with or that you remember seeing or that your dad bought or I don't know, all these um, iconic companies that over the last 50, 60, 70 years were part of like the American staple. And now all of a sudden you don't even recognize them and what are they doing? Um, those companies are being pushed to do the things that they're doing. Um, and they're trying to keep a certain amount of funding. And as I said to you a year and two months ago in a jacket standing right over there, you know, my number one fear right now, and I said that then, and I'm still saying it, I do not fear at this particular moment in time, uh, war with another country. Do I think that we are being primed and pushed into that in the future? Yeah, you know where I stand on that. I think we've been sold out. I mean, look what's going on. How is it that all of these people are coming across the border that we have no idea who they are, where they come from and where they're going, what they're doing by the thousands and thousands a day? Um, and they don't have, the, they don't have to, they don't have to do the things that American citizens have to do. They can go enroll their children in schools and the children don't have to have the same standards as American children. Why? Why is that happening? My number one fear is a collapse from within, and I think that it can come in many different forms, and I think you're watching that happen right now in front of your face, in front of my face. That's happening through corporate America. That's happening through the banking system. That's happening through politics. That is happening through all the division that this elite group of whoever's is absolutely pushing us into. You can't even identify with name brands of most things anymore. That's taking away your American identity. That's right. Whether you're black, whether you're white, whether you're Native American, whether you, no matter where your parents or grandparents may have legally immigrated from to here, you are an American citizen. And there's are, there are certain things that we have all identified and been very proud of over many generations because many men died, women too, mostly men, died so that we could have that and be together. I'm very proud to be an American citizen. That's not going to end no matter what. I'm proud of us as a people understand the difference. Um, a lot of people out there that want to fight and, and be really ugly to this type of um, perspective like to twist and turn it into that it's some weird ideology or that we are this or that. No, 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 no. I want you to be proud to be an American too. I want you to have your freedoms too. But I don't want your, what you as, you know, here's the thing, like I said the other day, if you are an adult, a working, tax-paying, peaceful adult, and w how you choose to live with another consenting, peaceful adult, whether I agree or not is not my business. I can, I can disagree. I can pray for you. You can pray for me. But we live in peace. And the thread that binds us together is understanding that you are an American with rights and I'm an American with rights. And see, that's where that has to be cut. We have to, this is what they're trying to do. They are trying to make it so confusing that you can't even identify, I mean, think about it. How many times have you possibly thought to yourself just in the past couple of years, I don't recognize my own country. I don't recognize my own home. Heck, I don't even recognize half of my family anymore. This is the trend, this is the transition that they're trying to put us in to ripen us for a fall because you're not gonna know who to trust, where to go, what to do, what's going on, what am I, which is up, which is down, which is down, which is up. You're not gonna know. 
That's not even talking about the economics and the, the incredible m amount of debt that the individual American now is having to take on due to massive inflation, all done on purpose. Um, think about all the small businesses that have absolutely folded. You can drive all around in our, in our area. People will tell you to shop here and shop there. Those places don't even exist anymore. And you're going to see that in massive corporations as well which is again, affecting the bottom line of many people. Again, causing a, ma a major stress on much of the middle-class population, which are the, you know, the ones that are the working class people of this country. Not wealthy, not necessarily poor, working class people. We're the heartbeat of this country and we are the problem when it comes to an agenda. They have to take us down. That is the agenda. So somebody said, said to me, I think they were kind of being a little bit smart. I think they're young. I don't think they've had enough life to understand. I mean, I'm just, that's the impression I got. They'll, they'll figure it out one day, unfortunately. Maybe unfortunately when it's too late. But the, like I said, the, the finger pointing was, well, if you, if all of you stop shopping all these people in all these places or whatever, you're going to make them go bankrupt. I didn't make them go bankrupt. I think I have freedom of choice to choose. What, what is this? What is it? My body, my choice. Funny how that only applies in certain things, and but it doesn't apply equally across the board. If I don't want to shop at Target because I don't like what they're doing, then I'm not going to shop at Target. If you don't like the way Chick Fil A's running things, go get your Chick Fil. Go go see if you can beat their shit sandwich at uh, Kentucky Fried Chicken or something. <laughs> hey, how I know a con concept. Make your own. There's a challenge. So if you want to know what's going on, it is beyond swimsuits, beer, and Ford Raptors. You're watching a purposeful destruction all from within. It's been going on, but now it's in front of your face. So understand when I say this is more than just about bathing suits. This is about how you dismantle the, the most successful and strong, prosperous nation in world history. They can't get it done from the outside. So they have to try over time, a slow slice every single time from within, attacking your food, attacking your religion, attacking if you can even identify with being whether you are a human being or a squash today whether you you know how many rights should parents have in terms of raising their children is it them me or the government raise is, who, who's raising your kids you or your or you or the government do they belong to you or do they belong to the government do you see how this is all happening the sad thing is is the people that stay on this they can't really see past their nose on this type of issue to see to see to the depth that I'm talking and the depth that most of you believe in as well is these individuals think that all of these things are being done to help them pursue their ultimate freedom no let me tell you something sweetie they don't care about you either they don't care about you they don't care about your community. They don't care about who, if you identify with a, a dandelion or a peacock. You're being used. Hardcore. They try to use me too. Hardcore. Two, two wings of the same bird. Yes, I'm totally aware. I hope that you're aware. And the problem is, is even though people want to be, want, I think there are people that want to be divided. They're very, very foolish because they think that, the, that they're more important or they think that they're being helped and they're not. No, we need to get back to the people, the people, live and let live, and the people. Not children, adults, the people. And when we all figure this out, a lot of our problems will be solved. But until then, you're just a puppet in the circus. And they know that in order to take this country down, bite by bite, slice by slice, bit by bit, it has to come from within. The 
tentacles of this incredible serpent all from within and is outreaching to your companies, to your schools, to your colleges, to your medical professionals, all of the, name it, it's there. You just have to be smart enough to realize it. Really, what is the problem? Where is it? Is it you? Probably not. Is it me? I don't think so. But that's what they have to make us believe to keep us confused, to keep us quarreling, to keep us fighting. All the while, London Bridge keeps falling down right on top of our heads. Remember what these wonderful men and women that gave everything for, died and fought, stood and died for. This isn't it. This isn't it. So I hope that explains some things and I hope that helps clarify my position and why I say we're being separated. Yes, lots of things are going on around you every day. The biggest spiritual warfare is amping up right in front of your face. Who are you going to be in this fight? Because you're in it. Whether you want to admit it to yourself or not, you're in it. And to close, yesterday I spent time with a really knowledgeable Cherokee man. And I asked him, we talked about all of these things. And he believed, you think I think a lot? <laughs> I said, what do we do? He said, you keep, you keep stalking food and you try to wake somebody up. Keep talking and keep waking people up. I agree. Like, subscribe, and share. I hope you're having a wonderful weekend. Get a little rest, y'all. It's been crazy. It's been stressful. Don't let the stress take you down, okay? Don't let the stress take you down. You can't make it fully go away. Just keep working. Have a, a real good plan for your, you know, what you're trying to accomplish. Stay realistic and keep going. Keep praying. Like, subscribe, and share. And we'll see you on the next video.